Greetings YTPC, I hope you're keeping well, thanks for dropping by. Lots of people at this time of year seem to do their best of the previous year. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different, um, mainly because I've only been smoking a pipe for about 10 months. So a best of from me would be uh, fairly pointless, I think. So instead, I thought you might be interested to know what blends I've smoked and which ones I will be revisiting in 2022. Plus, probably in another video, I'll show the pipes that I've got so far. Um, but we'll start with this one. And, and I, I guess the first place to start really would be the um, first tobacco that I bought. And that would be this one, if you can see it. It's Davidoff's. English mixture. Um, I bought that. Um, that was like that was one of the first ones that I that I picked up. Um, I didn't keep any of the tins from the from the early few. I regret that now, but um, you know, I didn't kind of think it was a thing. But anyway, um, I've smoked a fair bit of it, and the rest of it I've put in a jar, really, just so that I can come back to it and. Uh, see if it is still something that I that I enjoy, something that I might want to buy again. It's got a really nice, rich aroma, woody, sweet. And I have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it, I have to say. Sorry, I'm being rude. Um, I am smoking my Friday Savinelli my 320 um, and in it I am smoking some Gowarth and Hogarth dark flake aromatic which wasn't one of the first tobaccos that I bought but maybe we'll come on to that another time my next purchase was a fluke uh, it was a Dunhill's Dunhill's My Mixture, uh, 221B Baker Street. I've put the 2017 on there really because I I wasn't aware when I bought it that Dunhill's weren't making tobacco anymore. Um, I just uh, put in the order and that's what came up. Um, so and it, was, it wasn't until I'd smoked uh, a good few bowls that I realised what I'd got. Uh, and so... I thought maybe I will smoke this a little a little more sparingly. A good tobacco for me. I enjoyed that a lot, um, especially following on from the English mixture. Is that a good mix of dark fired Virginia, sun cured, a nice background of, of sweets and some you know some sweet hay um with just that little bit of spice uh it's a good it's a good smoke it's a good all day smoke peterson's early morning pipe was another one that i bought very early on i don't have any at the moment i'm i'm smoked out of it um it it, it mainly i think because i'm not i know you you know i can smoke it any time of course i can but i did enjoy it um in the morning as the first bowl um but it's not for me the type of weather to be um, to be sitting out um, smoking a bowl at, uh, at, at you know six seven o'clock in the morning. So I will order some more, and uh, it will be a, a regular once the warmer weather gets here. Um, The next next up really was some samples. I I I, I thought I'd, I'll go for samples. I'm, you know, I'm buying tins. I'm buying single tins here and uh, to see what I like. But I thought it, the easiest way really to to find blends that I liked would be to buy a, a sample pack. So that's what I did. And um, in it were some Squadron Leader, some Cabbies Mixture, some St. St. James Flake. Um, and I did enjoy them. I enjoyed them a lot, you know, enough so that I did actually then go out and buy some more. That's the uh, that's the cabbies. 
love those little rounds smells great lovely um lovely fresh fresh cut hay smell to to that um squadron leader i bought and i've i've bought more squadron leader since um and a, a lot more St. James Flake. It's a real favourite of mine, the St. James Flake. I really do enjoy that. And I think I've got about uh, about five or six tins, I think, um, in the cellar. Um, I really do like that. Um, another tobacco that I stumbled on by accident really was... Um, Jermaine's 1820 mix. Now, I really liked it. Um, I do have more. This is just the one that I've been smoking uh, regularly. It needs topping up. Um, I didn't know about the flake at the time. I had no idea. And uh, I posted a video uh, where I talked about it. I think I'd gone for a lunt and um, I was smoking it at the time. And uh, one of another YTPC member, um, Matthew Scott, saw the video, contacted me and said, had I tried the flake, which of course I hadn't. So he very kindly sent me a sample. Uh, and yeah, as soon as I got it, smoked a couple of bowls. Wow, I thought this is just, you know, this is what this is all about. This is just such a fantastic blend. So. I was fortunate at the time, got online, um, didn't have a problem ordering. Got myself a nice uh, big bag, jarred a lot of it up, kept some out for, uh, for, sm for, for smoking now. And it's something I go to fairly regularly, really, I guess, um, you know, few times a month really um, it's just just great as you know it's such a great tobacco a great smoke uh, I tried an order after that from the States uh, smoking pipes got myself a tin of Mississippi River and Maltese Falcon great great blends great great blends ordered more since uh, put a couple of tins of each in the cellar and I've got you know the, that the original uh, tins that I've got there they're jarred up um, and I, again I smoke those uh, on a on a fairly regular basis they're, 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 they're firm favorites I just wish they were easier to get without running the the customs gauntlet but hey ho um, then I really started on my Lakeland journey I've done a couple of videos about this already um, and really you know it's kind of I was going to do I was going to put down, you know, which ones do I smoke regularly? Which ones have I cellared? Which ones will I go back to? And it's, I guess it's more a case of which ones what wouldn't I? Because I haven't found one yet that I don't like. Um, you know, particular fir fir firm favourites are the Revo Plug, the Bosun Plug, Grasmere Flake, Ennerdale. Yeah, I do. I really like Ennerdale. I really do. Um, the Black Irish Twist, Bob's Chocolate Flake. Westmoreland slices. Um, I've I've got samples out already, um, and lots of it's not lots ounces of it are jarred up. Um, just really just so that uh, I can see how it behaves when I've when I've kept them for a bit longer. You know whether that's months or or maybe years. We'll see. It's still relatively easy. Well, it's extremely easy for me to get. Um, they never seem to be out of stock. So I've jarred up um, a, a little bit and I just keep topping up. I'm doing another jar as and when um, I feel I need to reorder. I, I tried a few more blends from um, from over, um, over the pond. Um, Boswell's Northwoods. He's a real, real favourite. I absolutely love it. I think I managed to get hold of 
I don't know if I got, I think I got four ounces, six ounces, something like that. I've probably got a few, two or three ounces left. Um, I did get stung once by, by customs, I, but I think I was being greedy. Um, but still, even, even then, when I worked it out, it was still cheaper. If I could have bought it in the UK, it was still cheaper to pay the tax, um, you know, than it would have been to buy it uh, from a from a, a UK store if if I could have got hold of it. Um, another couple uh, were from Watch City, um, which again I, I've really liked. Saw some good reviews. I think Uncle Phil um, and Cass did some reviews. Um, Persian Slipper, um, really really enjoy that. Um, that isn't quite all I've got left. I did jar up a couple of ounces, but uh, running a bit low on that. And uh, and the Old Dominion, Old Dominion, uh, just just love how that is. It's kind of a for me a cross between a a plug and a and a crumble. Um, quite. Uh, Quite a firm, quite a firm cake, but um, yeah, breaks up nicely as you know, crumble cakes are good for that, they don't take a lot of rubbing out, and they smoke really well, and, and they're a couple of, a couple of favourites of mine as well, uh, so I'll leave it at that for now, I've gone on for far too long. I'll do another um, a little bit later and I might talk about my experiences of um, some other blends um, from HU Tobacco, Dan Tobacco um, and uh, aromatics. Um, aromatics have been interesting and there's certainly something that I kind of thought I wanted to, well I wanted to try, you want, you want to try everything don't you? I wanted to try the aromatics because so many people seem to enjoy them. Um, I did very early on buy, buy a, a, an aromatic, which is this one, um, it's Rat Ray's Westminster Abbey. Um, I really like this, it's got a lovely, lovely vanilla aroma. Um, and it, it's, a, it's one that I, I really do get on with. It's a great evening smoke for me. Uh, I really enjoy a bowl of that um, of an evening, and uh, yeah. But I'll talk about I'll talk about aromatics uh, in another video. Well, thanks everybody. If you've got this far, I appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Look after each other, and uh, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.